Hello everyone, welcome back in Coolite Help. This is new Java FX video tutorial. In this session, we are going to create a bar chart in Java FX with FXML. Now we will see the important components of a bar chart. We have the X axis and Y axis and this can be number axis or a category axis. Also, you can set the label for X and Y axis. And we have the series. Basically, series is a representation of a data. And now you can add more than one series and the, there's a legends and titles and we will see all this stuff here in this image as you can see everything is explained here you can see on the top we have uh, the title for the chart you can set this title from the fxml or you can set from the controller on the y-axis you can see the numbers and there's a label for the y-axis you can set this label as well from the fxml if we talk about the x-axis we can also set the label for the x-axis and here in this example we are using the string and we are taking the category axis as you can see there are three bars red orange and green and these are represented here and this representation is called legends in this example we have the bars and the height of the bars representing the sales number in the countries so basically these bars are the series object i will explain you when i will take you inside the netbeans programming section okay guys i hope this is clear so we are using y axis as a number axis because uh, the target to represent the data on the y-axis and uh, we are showing the country's name on the x-axis so we have taken the category axis as a x-axis now i will take you back here in the notepad so we will understand the basic step to create a bar chart if you are going to create a bar chart without the fxml in that case you have to create the instance of a bar chart class if you are using the fxml so this will be very easy simply you have to drag and drop that object on the fxml and assign the fx id we will do the same in this session after that we will create a series of data so here's the example to create the series object this is very simple creating a object of the series class that's it once we get the series we have to fill this series with the data to add the data we have to create the xy chart dot data class object so this is the way we can create we are passing two arguments in this data constructor so first argument is the string which is going to set on the x axis so this is the country name that you have seen in the image and the second argument is the value this is the number value which will represent on the y-axis which will represent the height of the bar that means particular number of item sales done in particular year once we get the series we need to add this series inside the bar chart that simple we will see all these steps in the programming section after some time now in this session objective is to create a bar chart that will display the sales figure in multiple countries uh, for the given year 2003 2004 and 2005 as you can see in this image so we are going to target the same kind of bar chart and we will create in the NetBeans. So in this uh, example, we have these three series, one series for one year and the second series for second year and third series for third year. Below this series, the country name is written. That is showing that for the Austria, we have the sales and uh, for that particular years. In this way this is prepared now I will take you inside the NetBeans so we will see all thing 
in programming. So this is my NetBeans 8.0. I have already created one project. This is the FXML based project. I hope you guys clear. And uh, this is the FXML, one controller file and one main file. Now I will show you the FXML so you can understand what arrangement you need to do. So I have just opened my FXML here in the scene builder. You can see anchor pen is there and I have already added the bar chart. First let me delete it and I will explain you from the scratch. Here we go. Okay, just delete it. So once you open your FXML, this will be blank. Please add an anchor pan. After that, go here in the library. Just type bar chart. You will get the object. Just drag and drop your bar chart here. And please adjust as per your requirement. You can resize it. Once you click here on this plus button, you will see two childs in it. We have the category axis and this is the X axis. And the number axis, this is the y axis of this bar chart. In our example, we are, are going to display the country name on the x axis and the numbers on the y axis. Now we will assign a FX ID to this chart. So we have given it. This is the important step. Now we can give the label to this y axis. It's easy. Select this, go here in this property section. At this label please set the value for the label so I'm going to display units number of unit sales so label is mentioned okay now I will select the number axis so in the same way we can give the name to this axis as well so I want to display countries on the y-axis so I have given the name countries Okay, one last thing, I want to add the title to this bar chart. To do this, you have to simply follow one step. Select the bar chart and go to the right hand side under this properties. You will see the title property. Add the value of this property, like give the title to your bar chart. Maybe you are creating the bar chart for different kind of data representation. So give the name as per your need. I'm giving name like sales count in the countries. So we have given the labels, title, okay, and assigned a, a FX ID to this bar chart because we will use this FX ID inside the controller file. Make sure you have assigned this one. Now guys, I will minimize and I will take you back here in the FXML controller and we will see the important things. At line 24, you can see we have declared one uh, reference variable of a bar chart type. This will hold the object of that bar chart, uh, which is defined inside the FXML. Then you have to go here inside the initialize method. You have to create a series so first i'm going to create one series at line number 30 we have created the new uh, series and the series object is ready now we have to prepare some data so i have already written some code i will copy from this place and i will go back here and then i will paste it here so you can see at line number 32 we are calling the set name method and we are passing one string value because we are going to give a name to a series suppose you are using multiple series so you need to identify this if you give a good name so this will be identified easily and this name will be display at here in the legends i hope this is clear now at line number 33 we are going to add some data and the data basically a uh, object of xy chart dot data class here we are passing two values first one is the string value which is the country name and that will be displayed on the x axis and the second is the number value which will be displayed on the y axis 
this is the data this is the sales count so we have prepared this series and uh, we have added four date five data means five countries now it's time to add this series inside the bar chart simply call the bar chart dot get data dot add all method and add the series that's it now i've just saved it it's time to take a clean build and run it we will run it first after that we will add two more series in this bar chart okay i think build is successful now i'm going to run it okay guys uh, stage is appeared now you can see graph is looking awesome and we have one bar for each country because we have added only one series and uh, there are five countries and this is the data which is uh, the height of the each bar and this is the legend at line number 32 that we have given the names with the help of set name method and the y axis is there in this uh, graph we have only one series now we will try to add two more series then we will do a test run okay so we have done for the year 2003 now i want to add the 2004 and 2005 So here I have just pasted the code and you can see there's there's an object series 2 and there's an object series 3 and uh, we are going to add these series for year 2004 and 2005 sales figures. Once you get the object for these two just add these new created series object here in this bar chart only then this will be displayed on the bar chart. So guys these uh, series added here at line number 58 now it's time to take a clean build and run it okay build is successful and uh, here we go we got this stage and you can see we are getting three series for each country and these three three series re representing the uh, sales figure you can see for 2003, 2004 and 2005. This is a red bar for 2003, orange bar for 2004 and the green bar for 2005. On the x-axis you can see five countries appearing. And this is the uh, complete thing to create a bar chart with multiple series. I hope you guys have a clear understanding on this concept. If you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.